Good evening and welcome to evening prayer. Um, I'm not quite sure what's going on. Uh, okay, I can see. Hopefully you've got the right PowerPoint there now. That's it. So... Now that we're all correct, we'll begin. And tonight is the evening of the presentation of Christ. We will be celebrating that feast tomorrow morning with Holy Communion. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. From the rising of the sun to its setting, your glory is proclaimed in all the world. Blessed are you, Sovereign God, our light and our salvation. To you be glory and praise for ever. You gave your Christ as a light to the nations, and through the anointing of the Spirit you established us as a royal priesthood. As you called us into your marvellous light, may our lives bear witness to your truth, and our lips never cease to proclaim your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. That this evening may be holy, good and peaceful, let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 118 O give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, his steadfast love endures for ever. Let Israel say his steadfast love endures for ever. Let the house of Aaron say, His steadfast love endures for ever. Let those who fear the Lord say, His steadfast love endures for ever. Out of my distress I called on the Lord. The Lord answered me and set me in a broad place. With the Lord at my side I do not fear. What can mortals do to me? The Lord is on my side to help me. I shall look in triumph on those who hate me. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to put confidence in mortals. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to put confidence in princes. All nations surround me. In the name of the Lord I cut them off. They surround me, surrounded me on every side. In the name of the Lord I cut them off. They surrounded me like bees. They blazed like a fire of thorns. In the name of the Lord... I cut them off. I was pushed hard so that I was falling, but the Lord helped me. The Lord is my strength and my might. He has become my salvation. There are, thing, there are glad songs of victory in the tents of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord does valiantly. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord does valiantly. I shall not die, but I shall live and recount the deeds of the Lord. The Lord has punished me severely, but he did not give me over to death. Open to me the gates of righteousness, that I may enter through them and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord. The righteous shall enter through it. I thank you that you have answered me and have become my salvation. The stone that the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing. It's marvellous in our eyes. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Save us, we beseech you, Lord. O Lord, we beseech you, give us success. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is good. He has given us light. Bind the festal procession with branches up to the horns of the altar. You are my God, and I will give thanks to you. You are my God, I will extol you. I'll give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love 
endures for ever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. 1 Samuel chapter 1 verses 19 to 28. They rose early in the morning and worshipped before the Lord. Then they went back to their house at Ramah. Elkanah knew his wife Hannah, and the Lord remembered her. In due time, Hannah conceived and bore a son. She named him Samuel, for she said, I have asked him of the Lord. The man Elkanah said, and all his household, went up to offer the Lord the yearly sacrifice and to pay his vow. But Hannah did not go up, for she said to her husband, As soon as the child is weaned, I will bring him, that he may appear in the presence of the Lord and remain there for ever. I will offer him as a Nazarite for all time. Her husband Elkanah said to her, Do whatever seems best to you. Wait until you've weaned him. Only may the Lord establish his word. So the woman remained and nursed her son until she weaned him. When she'd weaned him, she took him up with her, along with a three-year-old bull, an ephah of flour, and a skin of wine. She brought him to the house of the Lord at Shiloh, and the child was young. Then they slaughtered the bull, and they brought the child to Eli, and she said, O oh, my Lord, as you live, my Lord, I am the woman who is standing here in your presence, praying to the Lord. For this child I prayed, and the Lord has granted me the petition that I gave him. Therefore I have lent him to the Lord. As long as he lives, he is given to the Lord. She left him there for the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You created all things, O God, and are worthy of our praise for ever. You are worthy, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honour and power, for you have created all things, and by your will they have their being. You are worthy, O Lamb, for you were slain, and by your blood you ransomed for God, saints from every tribe and language and nation. You have made them to be a kingdom and priests serving our God, and they will reign with you on earth. To the one who sits on the throne and to the Lamb, be blessing and honour and glory and might for ever and ever. Amen. You created all things, O God, and are worthy of our praise for ever. Hebrews chapter 4, verses 11 to 16. Let us therefore make every effort to enter that rest, so that no one may fall through such disobedience as theirs. Indeed, the word of God is living and active, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing until it divides soul from spirit, joints from marrow. It is able to judge the thoughts and intentions of the heart. And before him no creature is hidden, but all are naked and lay bare to the eyes of the one whom we must render an account. Since then, we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast to our confession. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathise with our weaknesses, but we have one who in every respect has been tested as we are, yet without sin. Let us therefore approach the throne of grace with boldness, so that we may receive mercy and find grace in, to help in time of need. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Arise, shine, for your light has come. The glory of the Lord is rising upon you. Arise, shine, for your light has come. The glory of the Lord is rising upon you. God's salvation has been openly shown to all people. The glory of the Lord is rising upon you. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Arise, shine, for your light has come. The glory of the Lord is rising upon you. Behold my servant whom I uphold, my chosen in whom my soul delights, the anointed one on whom my spirit rests. 
my soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Behold my servant whom I uphold, my chosen in whom my soul delights, the anointed one on whom my spirit rests. Father, as we come this evening, we give you thanks for the day. Thanks that you are with us in every part of every day. And whatever today has been, we thank you that you were with us. We pray that we would be aware of your presence with us now and throughout the evening. Lord, we pray for peace in our world. We pray for the situation in Ukraine. As the UK Prime Minister has visited Ukraine today to give backing to the President there. Lord, we pray that the world would not be taken into another war. But that there would be diplomacy, there would be common sense, there would be a desire for peace. Lord, we pray that your spirit would move and work in the hearts and minds of those who are in positions of power and influence to uphold peace, to turn back from war. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for the situation in Guinea-Bissau where there has been an attempted coup. Lord, this is a country where there have been many coups or attempted coups in the past and it comes on the back of several other situations in other countries in Africa where governments have been overthrown by military. So as we pray for this country, we also pray for the continent of Africa. We pray for stability. We pray for good leadership. We pray for democratic leadership. We pray for hearts and minds that would not lust after power, but would lust after equality and good governance. Lord, we pray for those who are very worried tonight in Guinea-Bissau. Father, we pray for the upcoming elections in Angola.
as it's claimed that many people do not have access to free, diverse and impartial information. That the authorities there continue to use draconian media laws to repress and harass journalists. Lord, we pray for free in information around the world. We pray for those who work in journalism, that they would strive to tell the truth. We pray for our own journalists and media outlets, that they would be transparent and truthful in their reporting. Father, we pray for wisdom for those of us who follow the news that we would seek more than one side of the story, that we will pray into the news as we do each evening and each morning, that your will would be done, that your peace would come, that you would provide for those who are in need. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And so, Lord, we turn our prayers to those who are in need tonight. We bring to you the individuals that we pray for regularly, or those we know of today who are in need. We pray for Harry and Damien as they both recover from recent illness, and for Terry and Barbara and the family. We pray for Margaret as she continues her chemotherapy and for John as he cares for her. For Graham as he awaits kidney transplant and continues with dialysis. For Gillian as she cares for him. For Colin who also suffers with cancer. And for Kath. For Christopher and Tracy who look after them both. Lord we pray for the Mitchell family as they try to look after Anne even though there is distance between them. We pray for her care package that it would work well and do what she needs. We pray for Susan and Roger and their many physical needs. We pray for Luke, for peace of mind and purpose. We pray for Simon, the same, for your guiding grace. We pray for Josh Eden as he and his family cope with his medical condition. We pray for Amy Holmes, who's been very ill lately and still waiting for correct diagnosis and treatment. Father, we pray tonight for Effie, who is in hospital in Nottingham, little girl we have prayed for so much who came into the world damaged and has overcome so many obstacles already we pray that you will be with her and her family tonight as they weather this most recent storm Lord, we lift to you others known to us, others who are ill, others who have been ill for their continued recovery. We pray for Toby as he suffers with tonsillitis.
We pray for Marianne for her many physical and medical needs. Lord, we pray for a breakthrough in her life to bring respite. We pray for all who live with chronic illnesses, who have no help, hope of getting better, but just have to learn to live with their conditions. Lord, we pray for resilience and for a sense of hope. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty and ever-living God, clothed in majesty, whose beloved Son was this day presented in the temple, in the substance of our flesh, grant that we may be presented to you with pure and clean hearts by your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Believing the promises of God, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. May Christ, who sends us to the nations, give us the power of his Spirit. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hope you have a pleasant evening. As I mentioned, tomorrow morning there will be communion at nine o'clock to celebrate the presentation of Christ in the temple or Candlemas. So please do join us then. In the meantime, take care. Bye.